Hello friends, good morning. This is Raj Deep, and today we are trying to solve an issue with the GST website for the digital signature certificates. Now it is a very persistent issue that I have faced in the past couple of months, wherein whenever we are trying to assign a DSC or assign a certificating uh, certificate using a DSC what happens is uh, it gives an error that failed to establish connection to the server and restart the EM signer I believe a lot of individuals are facing this and it is turning out to be a major roadblock for people who have to either monthly sign on the return or monthly e-verify the return that is being uploaded to the GST uh, me and my father we were facing it as well and uh, he was trying to do it for his organization uh, they were not able to do it so the buck fell on me and it was asked uh, a bit of software engineering career na? Chalo, ye karke dekhao. <laughs> so that's how it started but I thankfully I was able to pull it off or else it would have been an issue of uh, listening more feedback <laughs> that apne trade me perfect bano kaam chalao kaam mat karo <laughs> So long story short, uh, thankfully we were able to resolve this and I will walk in through the steps of how I was able to resolve this particular issue. So uh, to give you a bit of a background, I tried this for the GST website on all the browsers, Edge, Chrome, Internet Explorer with multiple versions, Java updated and everything in order. Uh, but still, when I was trying to sign on the monthly return like I kind of e-verify the monthly return using the DSC that is when it gave me an error and this error I restarted my system a couple of times but there was no resolution so finally what I found out is what I'll detail in this uh, in this video uh, I'll just quickly walk you through a couple of steps that would be needed to do this so first things first we were trying to log into the GST website. I am using the Edge browser and I log in and state how it has been for me. GST.gov.in is the browser, is the website address that I am logging into. I will go to the login page and here I am. So just before entering the user ID and the passwords, uh, there has to be certain prerequisites that the system should have first thing first is on the software that we are supposed to use now GST recommended EM signer using which we can you know sign uh, or e-verify using the DSC so what we have with the latest release of the EM signer is there is a version 2.6 available on the GST website which is to be downloaded so the step is I will go to the control panel and check which version of the EM signer do I have I went to the control panel and then I will went to programs and I'll click on programs and I will try to click on uninstall a program this gives me a list of what all programs are present in my system and I will try to search over here in the right topmost corner for EM signer now as you see I have this EM signer installed it's the version is 2.6.0 that is the latest version that will work for the GST websites now there was an earlier version of 1.2 which had a different port assigned to it that version will not work so I uninstalled that version and installed this version which is 2.6 so that becomes the first prerequisite uninstall that version install this one and in case you have any difficulties finding this version on the DSC website uh, I would sorry on the GST website I would please uh, uh, mention it below in the comments I would send you the link also I would send the link in the in the video comments below so once we have this version up and handy that becomes the first prerequisite that we have to cover now if the version is installed do reboot your system so that the latest version is up and available and I will go over here again I'll minimize this for meanwhile I'll go over here again on the search window and 
type in em signer and i see em signer gstn a desktop app come up i will right click on this one and run this as an administrator the reason for that is there might be certain issues if you are running it without the admin privileges now it will take some time and say that em signer service started successfully which means it has started now and if you see below there is an icon em signer over here i will double click on that and that opens up a prompt which states that the service is almost started sorry the service has actually started and the port has been configured on 1585 this is where the majority of the issues come in so this is a new port the earlier port was something else with the 1.2 uh, version and this is the root cause of how we will try to solve uh, how to get over this port issue 1585 is the port on which the service has been configured now if i try to go into my gst website i will log into my account it will take me to the dashboard for my GST page. I will click on return dashboard to file the returns and then it will tell me which financial year or which financial period I want to file it for. Now I have already defiled it so I will show you for the month of July for the one which I filed it uh, using this particular method and how, how I was able to capture it. I'll click on search it has been a dummy filing and if I go to monthly returns the status would be filed for people who are trying to sign this as of now it would be something like a submitted or not filed not filed means it has to be saved and then submitted and then finally when I sign it it will have the status as filed so I was able to do this because I have already signed it that's the reason why the status is filed I will go back to the okay let me go back here to the presentation that I have and what I did so first thing was here are the granular steps that we had to do first thing I was installed the latest version EM signer 2.6 the next thing to do is to do the service is enabled but the port as we understood was 1585 so we have to do a certain setting to this in the system to tell it that which port it has actually to listen to so I'll go over here on the search window in the search button type in CMD to bring up the command prompt I will right click on it and click on run as administrator this is when the system would start running as an administrator the command prompt would run as administrator and I will type in certain commands over here now these are pretty simple commands safe commands um, nothing that they will harm your system but it's necessary just to change the socket and the proxy for the website to work and the listeners to work in so I will type in over net sh I'm minimizing the window out here so that we can see what I'm typing in at, as well I can map it out here I will type in net sh and then interface give a space and now I will assign a proxy to the port port proxy give a space add give a space again v4 to v4 give a space again and now define which port the system has to listen to I will type in listen port equals to 1645 and the listen address equals to 127.0.0.1 so I'm telling the system in fact that this is the address it has to listen to and this is the port it has to listen to the actual connect port would be connect port equals to 1585 give a space again and then connect address I will just increase this window so that you're able to see everything in one line I'll increase it from both the sides connect address becomes 127.0 oh, sorry dot zero dot zero dot one so the connect port is actually 1585 with the connect address is this however the connect 
listening address and the listening port is something else is what we are trying to tell over here and then I press in the enter sign the moment I press in enter it takes some time does a processing in the back end and then is up with this particular prompt which says that it is done now uh, there is no error so the task is done now if I go into my GST site uh, prior to doing that I'll also take care of restarting my EM signer which would primarily be using going to this again and then clicking on EM signer what I'll do is I'll stop this service so I will click on stop service now the service has been stopped for the EM signer I will minimize all of this and then I'll go in over here type in EM signer again I will right click on it and click on run as administrator so the service has started successfully again and I should be able to see it below just like that and once I'm, I've done this I will minimize this window again and I will go back to my GST website select the particular filing period that I have to do in and I will click on view for my returns and I would see this now for me it was a dummy test so uh, there, there was nothing to be filled in so the status is filed as of now uh, what would have been done had this not been filed is the f I will have to click on this box over here and select the particular signing authority I want to use the moment I plug in my DST uh, DSC dongle over here it would reflect and then click on file GST 3b with DSC once I click on this particular link I would see uh, a pop-up box on the EM signer itself if I don't see it I would rather kind of click it and open it and then it will say which signatures I want to use and sign I will just select the signatures click on sign and I would see that this sign would be it, the, the signing process would be complete it would be e-filed and I would have a confirmation and that is the way how I was able to kind of debug the entire issue and sign for get the status as filed rather than letting it as submitted uh, so these are the issues that with uh, GST portal that we see is, see there are uh, the particular settings need to be done to overall close the loop uh, so just as a refresher again I would revise the steps that we had to do the first step would be the install the latest EM signer that is the version 2.6 uninstall any other previous versions and then have this as the latest and the greatest version then go to the command prompt in the administrator mode and type in this command to get the listening ports and the connect ports aligned properly restart the EM signer sign on onto the GST sign site and have a happy time ahead I hope this video was useful uh, please do comment in if you are still facing any issues I would try to resolve them as soon as possible Thank you for watching the video. Have a great time ahead. Bye-bye.